Hello again. And welcome back. So now we want to make something a bit more interesting than uh, yeah. a simple circle. Um, I'll start by mentioning why this weird size here. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> actually, the paper we have on the pen plotter is an A5 in size, so it's 148 mm -hmm. uh, millimeters and 210. So mm -hmm. I just use the same uh, aspect yeah. ratio here. Just I, for, uh, to yeah. I mean, for just to have an idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I just moved it a bit to the right so mm -hmm. we can see where are we working here. Where should we start? With a bunch of points? Yes, okay, so let's start with a bunch of points uh, that we can sample. Uh, let's try just yep. five. five. Uh, drawer, bounds, uniform, mm -hmm. and some distance to the edge. Mm -hmm. So there, with this, this little block, we have uh, yeah, five points, mm -hmm. which are somewhere uh, in the middle, randomly. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to create a curve uh, that passes through this point which with some curvature. A hobby curve with those mm -hmm. points and I'm going to make it closed. Mm -hmm. So then I don't need this one anymore, the circle. Mm -hmm. uh, let's run it and see what it does. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ah, you know what? It could be interesting. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was thinking of having the camera to the uh i think it can be con ah, yeah. convenient camera to the because yeah. then if like in this case it's a bit out then i can easily move and pan mm -hmm. and rotate so i can yep. i can do like this this looks I like a way i don't think i've ever used the camera to no the, no <laughs> no but yeah. now mm. okay good good so okay so we have a, a curve yeah okay so one thing we can, one thing that is very easy always in Open Render to do is to sample points from curves. Mm -hmm. So curves are, are really geometric objects that uh, the API allows to um, probe them in various ways. For instance, we can get points mm -hmm. on the curve. Uh, curve or C points. Mm -hmm. C. What is it? Equi equidistant. <laughs> I mean, if you want to get them, equidistant position. We could also try. Actually, we could also try to get points at different uh, uh, t position. Mm -hmm. You generate a bunch of values from zero to one. Yeah. You order them, and mm. then. But let's do, you know, at equidistance because it's nice. Yeah. Um, f to get started with using this, maybe I just draw a bunch of circles mm -hmm. on those locations. Mm -hmm. So I could say. Mm, a non drawer, but circles, mm -hmm. see point and ten. Mm -hmm. So then we can see what are we talking about. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ah, nice. Yeah. But now maybe we want we you, you we can see that the the curve behind is visible. Yeah. How about we hide the curve behind? So this was not possible before. But now in... I mean, the, it was possible in over-render. It was know, yeah. possible with a plot. <laughs> in, exactly. <laughs> yeah. In the AxiDraw software mm -hmm. that runs inside Inkscape, mm -hmm. you couldn't hide things like this. Like, you couldn't hide a fill. Mm -hmm. but, mm -hmm. but now it's possible. So you can do, like in this case... Mm -hmm. um, huh, did you notice sometimes... Now there's more overlap than before. Mm -hmm. And this is going to happen randomly depending on the the length of the o curve of the curve correct so i was thinking if we want to always get the same look you, we have to to get the area probably of the, the length yeah the length we're gonna get the c dot length and make the the radius of the circle and i was thinking like here like and instead of that i could just say how many points do we get ah okay so then we could mm -hmm. say i don't know for example every 10 mm -hmm. Uh, to int mm -hmm. so then now independently on the length of the curve it's mm -hmm. going to get more or less the same look mm -hmm. <laughs> lot okay a lot of circles there but it, like how about we make the the um, the size of the circle change mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay so so we can define essentially circles outside yeah. of the yeah so the circles is gonna be mm -hmm. 
I'm gonna map those points. Are you gonna have problems with circles and circles inside the drawer composition? No? Uh, they're not gonna be circles anymore. <laughs> ah, right. So I'm gonna do yeah. circle. They're con contours. It mm -hmm. dot con no, wait, am I missing something? At the radius. Ah, so the radius. you want to do a map index. Yeah. So I'll start with a fixed radius like okay. we had before yeah. and then contour. Mm -hmm. So this is the same. Mm -hmm. uh, now but here instead of circles, I'm going to do contours. Of circles. Circles or, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I don't need here this. So we should get the same thing. So now, now we should get the same thing, but we have here the freedom to randomize the radius mm -hmm. or do something to with it. To change the radius, yeah. So the same thing. Mm -hmm. uh, but now we can keep track of the index. If well, we I was going to just quickly ah, randomize. Yeah. And yeah. then we do yeah. maybe, I don't know, sign or noise mm -hmm. or something. Mm -hmm. uh, double, I don't know, between 5 and mm -hmm. 15. So then we have some. <laughs> yes. Random. So this is usually the, the usual thing, no? So one <laughs> starts with some parameter and randomizes mm -hmm. just to find out that sometimes it's too random. <laughs> yeah. Uh, which, which sometimes is okay, but some other times is not. So, yeah. So if we want to do something based on the index, mm -hmm. uh, I can hit here convert to indexed. Mm -hmm. And I will just call it E I. And we could do something cool. We could randomize based on the index. So, uh -huh. for instance, uh, we could say, uh, yeah, um, b like plus this. exactly. <laughs> yeah. So what happens here? Initially, mm -hmm. we know that for sure the first one is going to be five mm -hmm. because it's going to get a number between five mm -hmm. and five because I is zero. Mm -hmm. The index is zero, mm -hmm. but then it's going to be one, two, three. Probably, I think this is going to be too much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's probably. It's going to become huge yeah. rate yeah, yeah. AD. Yeah. Ooh. Well, but it's still... Okay. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. So now we could do one of the favorite things that... Are, I mean, one of the things that... Uh, we could sort... You see, like, now the circles uh, mm -hmm. are displayed mm -hmm. by... by um, you see, in the, chron in the order we have generated, mm -hmm, okay? Mm -hmm. But we have an additional, um, but but I mean, using the, we can use a, a fact to reflect on a fact that a bigger circle on drawn on a small circle will not be visible. Mm -hmm. On the other end, a small circle drawn on a bigger circle will still be visible. Mm -hmm. So we could order them these, and rather than drawing them uh, as we have created, mm -hmm. we could decide how they should be uh, okay. drawn. Yeah. So. For instance, the bigger one first mm -hmm. and the smaller one uh, later. So how would we do that? We could... Let's do that in a second. Yeah. I'm, I'm thinking we are missing, because this is a nice, nice picture, mm -hmm. and we are yeah. losing them because we keep writing all the time on the ah, same yeah. location. Yeah, okay. So... so I was thinking that I... Plus could, a, a random number? Uh, no, well, that's... Uh, or we could use a time. Yeah. But I think there is a named... Timestamp ah. uh, plus dot SVG. What uh, does name timestamp does? Let's see. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, I am gonna run this, and well, it would be even nicer if it if it told us what name mm -hmm. it used, uh, because otherwise I have to go here to TMP, and I'm gonna list all the SVGs, and you can see that it called template program and, and the, the time and the time. Perfect. And the nice thing is using the name. So, so it's easier to retrieve. Yeah. So if we had several programs, then it would be reflected. So this would show which program generated uh -huh. the, the uh -huh. image. Huh, this is also nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's sort cool. sorted by um, the area, for example. Yeah, or the radius. Is the same. Well, the contour doesn't have Then let's put radius. the length. Length. It's the same. It length. But in this way, we will sort them by smallest first. We Let's want see. to sort them uh, by biggest is, first. Yeah, Let's so see. Yeah. This 
is uh, it also has some meaning because yeah, of course the, the bigger objects are closer correct <laughs> correct yes this is some uh, illusion of depth yeah let's say like this and if we would do yeah like this it, or can we no, ah, yeah. i got rid of the eye yeah uh, now the smallest are near and now essentially <laughs> all of the circles are visible in a way or in another right yeah yeah that's interesting so they're all visible yeah and they create you know this uh interesting a bit eerie also <laughs> figure no but it's for a plotter this is interesting this is an interesting job yeah. in a certain sense and we maybe we can show like you know what yeah. happens should we plot this one yes let's plot <laughs> this one okay okay <laughs> Then let's pause here and yes. I'll start the camera. Plot something. 